remember uh, the first time I ever met them, I was in New York, and I was very, very nervous because obviously they're huge movie stars. And, and, but the, from the moment I met them, I knew that they were just regular people and that they were extremely kind. And, um, me, and they, me and Naomi had a few um, weeks of rehearsals together, and we built up a very strong relationship. And she, she carried me through the film. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do it without her being there. And, um, and she became my mum pretty much on set and off set, so I owe a lot to her. Meeting Lucas was, for me was one of the best, biggest helps and for me as a character because it meant that I could really go into depth with the character because he described his experiences and went into great deal detail about his emotions and what was going through his mind at the time, which I was able to use later on on set. Um, but yeah, and he's, a, he's an amazing guy as well. He's training to be a doctor, which just shows how incredible he is and, um, and he's a really, really nice man. Yeah, I think so because there was quite a lot of responsibility on me throughout the shoot because Lucas is a pivotal role in the film and um, and obviously there, I was working almost every day. But yeah, and I because I was mixing with people that were older than me, it meant that I think I matured quicker than some of my friends at school that would, would have been at school. So um, yeah, I think it did change me in, in a good way, I hope. <laughs> I guess physically the tsunami scene, obviously, because we were underwater and we were being pulled along. But emotionally, then it would be the scenes in Thailand. So it was, it was evenly balanced out because in Thailand, I was having to maintain that emotion of missing my mum and but not thinking that she's going to make it. And then in Spain, having to panic and pretend that I'm drowning. So it was, it was an equal balance on physical and emotional. My favourite scene is the scene where Ewan is saying goodbye to the two little ones on the truck because his, his, Ewan's face is just like, oh man, it makes me cry like every time I see it. And um, yeah, it's just, it's such a nice moment where he says, I love you for the last time and you drive off and little Oakley's face is just, oh, he's so cute. But um, I love that moment in the film. And um, my favourite sequence is the, the sequence where Simon and Thomas are on the bus and Simon's taking a wee and Henry's getting in the car and I'm running around and we're all so close to each other but yet so far away if you know what I mean and the tension is like so great so um, yeah I, there's so many parts in the film that I, I love. He's an amazing guy to work for because he's so caring and um, everyone trusted him. It got to the point where I would have done anything for him in the film and uh, we built a very, very strong relationship on set and off set because he came like, became like my big brother. And uh, we were always pulling jokes on each other and pranks and stuff. So he was a great man to work with. And also he, he goes out of his way to tell you that you're doing well and to tell you that he's pleased with how you're working, which is a very nice feature in a director. There are so many directors. On my mind at the moment is Christopher Nolan because I watched Memento at school the other day and was just like blown away. It was such a good film. And um, but yeah, there's so many directors that I'd love to work with.